bit of good news here as two rescued pelicans are now back out in the wild. They were released today from the beach where they were found some months ago injured and sick. Wildlife experts say that they're seeing more and more of these mangled birds. NBC4's Vicki Vargas now has that story. In each of these crates, a pelican that is about to enjoy a happy ending. One is a young adult, the other less than a year old. These photos show their road to recovery. One arrived with a hook in its broken shoulder. The other was found sick and dehydrated. Within months, they were on the mend, flying around in their cage. Now, they're about to fly as far away as they are able, going back to where they came from. Since October, wildlife officials say 32 pelicans have come into their facility with broken wings. 22 did not survive. They are convinced the injuries to those birds were caused by humans. There is now a Caltip hotline and talk of a reward for information. When I ate about it, it was devastating. And I was like, you know, see how many animals get like a, well, People do crazy things nowadays, like, no? I mean, why do people do that? I don't understand. It is unclear if either of these two were hurt by people. What is clear, say officials, is that it is time for them to fly. So the midday release at Crystal Cove State Beach drew a crowd of the curious. And we have no choice. This is their home. So we do have to let them go back to their home. The person out there harming them needs to stop. Experts say a pelican's strength is in its wings, which allows them to dive for food from 100 feet in the air. As for these two brown pelicans, they are still getting used to being in the great outdoors again. In Crystal Cove, Vicki Vargas, NBC4 News.